is a preview. Can you just go a little bit and not all the Just leave it right there. Okay, so uh, well, I'll leave that up there. Pretty sure. Shoot. Let me check this real quick. Now, states from Vince, yeah. I don't remember who's home. Let's look at who's home. Steelers are home. Okay. So they they do show up first there. I am going to get this next set up. The Steelers, their uh, helmets, very different from what they are today. And the Titans helmets were pretty wild in color, but bland and I you know, didn't have a whole lot going on. We got Joey B. Lost his first game despite having over 230 all-purpose yards from Bobby Mitchell. See right there. Um, and then hanging Chadwick. Make sure we can make this all fit. And we'll transition over to this new one. Announce it to the fam. There we go. Get rid of studio mode. And let's get into it. New York Titans, Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh yeah, we will time out here. Wanted to look up who the best. We'll come back to this. Um, we'll look up who the best quarterback in the game was. If you're still here, meet. Um, Sonny Jurgensen, probably one of the better arms in the league. Al Duro has the best wheels, 31 MS and 50 PC. He's up there. Um, Bart Starr, 54, 56, 19 MS, a solid one. Billy Wade, 19 MS, 56, 63, one of the top ones for sure. Oh, these guys suck. Babe Perilli, okay. Johnny Yu. 25 MS, 56, 69. I think he was the best quarterback in the league and was drafted accordingly. Marlboro Man was 50. So was Earl, Mor Earl Morrill. Oops. Oh, no, he was 48, 44. Uh, Norm Van Brocklin was 56 and slow. He got 6 MS. Frank Ryan, 19 MS, 50 56. George Blanda, slow but 56 56. Milt Plum, 44 63. 
by Tittle. He gets a lot better in a couple of years. This year, he's like Johnny Unitas is in 1760. Butch Sanjin, Jack Kemp, Andy Don Meredith, John Brody, and Eddie LeBaron, and Kelly Chapuka. And yeah, just not. So yeah, I would say it was Johnny U. Johnny U's your best uh, quarterback, and he's in this game. So let's load it up again. Get the right ROM opened. Start the NSV. All right, Bobby Mitchell continuing his campaign. Oh, he's not able to out tap. Oh, the JJ catch from Monty Stickles. Mitchell gets going again. We got one of the most most boring. Helmet matchups in the 1960s coming up after this. All right.
Nick Petrosante, look at that, 56.81. Some things are happening. Takes it off, tackled to the right, gets a few yards, third and four. Oh, the quick, quick pass to Sonny Randall. Johnny Yu is feeling it. Can he finish? The diver to Nick Petrosante, and he makes it in. We should be tied after the extra point here. Wide open. Wide open. Lenny Moore. Oh, just sneaks it in there. Look at Nick Petrosantego. Busting loose. Diver by Jerry Kramer does not get it. The doctor goes back, avoids the rush, tossing it up to Lenny Moore, and the oh, it's caught in the end zone for a touchdown. There's your Josh Allen moment. That was huge. That was very big. Steelers will head into the locker rooms at the half. Ups 21-14. See what kind of uh, 
halftime we got going on here. No cheerleaders so far. And we will get just the one. Alright. Second half, Monty Stickles is ready to boot it. Bob St. Clair, feeling it. Rosie Brown, feeling it. On defense, the Steelers, Dick LeBeau in excellent. Watch out. Jim Marshall in good. A weapon in the special teams, especially in kick blocking. John Lovatere with the 69 HP. The uh, Titans offense, Nick Petrosante still in good. Sonny Randall in good. Oh, what a cut. Doesn't get much out of it, but a nice cut by Nick Petrosante. Quick pass is jump blocked. Lionel Taylor hauls it in. Not the speediest, but he's got great hands. Titans are in business. They're in uh, almost in the red zone. Look at Nick Petrosante. Sonny Randall on the goal line in coverage. Drops back, way back, pumps it up to Lenny Moore, and once again, Lenny Moore will jump up, make the reception. Steelers are in business once again. Game one star was Bobby Mitchell. Game two so far, Lenny Moore. Bill George in good for the Titans. Not much else other than maybe you could say Ordell Brasse. In bad, Gary Glick and Dick felt all in bad. Dick felt bad. For the uh, Steelers on offense. Bobby Mitchell's in good. Alan Goldstein's in good. I don't know that he's going to see the field. Ready, down. Put, 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 put. <laughs> 
Pass one. Bill George was able to rein the doctor in. Here we go in the fourth quarter. Dick LeBeau in excellent, Larry Grantham and Jim Marshall in good. Good linebackers on the corners. That's very fortunate. Secondary of the Titans, already pretty bad. Has some mixed results. Too good, too bad. But they get the Steelers to settle for a field goal. Steelers are up three as we start the fourth quarter. Nick Petrosante still in good, and as is Sonny Rondell. Johnny Carson's in good. That's a he's a weapon. 44-63. He ought to be somewhere in there at tight end, I think. And the O-line, aside from Orlando Ferrante, is looking good. Everybody else is uh pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. A pick play gets it off to Lionel Taylor. First down. Oh, how did we drop 119 frames? Where did that happen? Missed that. It's still 0.0%, but still, we're two hours in. We've got four more games. What are the Titans going to do here in the red zone? Nick Petrosante busts through. Oh, he does not, does not bust all the way through, but oh my goodness. That looked like it was going to be a breakthrough. Jailbreak. Up the middle again. Oh, cannot punch it in. What is going to happen here? It's two chances that Petrosante had to punch it in. And this time it's picked. Fourth and one. What are the Titans going to do? Field goal would tie it. But there's a lot of time left. Two and a half minutes. Titans are going to go for it. What is the play here? Does he do it again? He does. It's not picked. Oh, but he is stuffed. <laughs> He turns it over on downs. Vince Lombardi is turning over in his grave. Rutko catches it over the middle. Larry with 88 HP in there for his blocking in decent hands. Oh, Retko gets it again, zips out of bounds. Picks the play. What's going to happen? Incomplete. Fourth down. You got to think the Steelers are going to kick the punt the ball here. And they do. Will the Titans be able to. Ooh! Bill George coming in hot. Punt just barely eclipses midfield, and the Titans are in business. Ralph Guglielmi is not going to touch the field unless Johnny U gets hurt. No, not not trying to manifest anything. That's just the way it is. Oh, picked play. He's there. No interception, but no catch. Nothing doing. Oh, this time he's got somebody. 
Goes deep to Sonny Randall. Incomplete. 20 seconds left. Tick tock. You don't stop. Larry Grantham is manned up. Gets it off. Oh, and it's picked off. Dick LeBeau and excellent. Seals the dub. Big play, Dick. A great game overall. You, you wonder if the Titans could have just maybe ran it once before the end there and gotten a little closer. That's all she wrote. So let's go ahead and get this get this up here. So there was Titans and Steelers. We're going to upload this. I guess we'll start with the NSV. Find our state. There we go. Frank Ryan. Frank Ryan and Al Doro so far, the leaders, the front runners for uh who is the player of the week on offense. Ooh, Lenny Moore too. Three for two hundred and three. Bobby Mitchell, another great game, almost a hundred yards. Dick LeBeau an excellent with that interception. That was big. What a game.